Hi, I'm Todd, your Evolve Connect trainer for today. I wanted to say thank you for joining us. This is day three of the shutdown. We're trying to go virtual to help you all stay active while you're at home. So the workout I have planned for today is an Express Core Plus workout. It's gonna focus on bracing strength in your core. It's a really simple workout and it requires minimal props. You need a mat, you need to have a sturdy chair, and you need to either have a dumbbell, medium weight, something you can do a sidearm lift with. If you don't have a dumbbell, just get yourself a reusable grocery bag and fill it with some stuff. Maybe some canned food, a couple of books, something that you'll be able to use. Actually, this creates a bigger challenge because it swings a little bit. So you might want to just do that anyways. We're going to begin with a simple warm-up, and then we're going to go into our uh, plank series, and then we have seated series, standing series, and we'll finish with some recovery stretches. Okay? So, let's assume a nice tall posture, relaxed shoulders. We're going to begin at the top with a head tilt to the side. Roll the chin slowly along your collarbone to the other side. And then return, keeping your head forward, back to where you started from. We're keeping that head forward. We're stretching the back of the neck. Once more, bring it down to the front and slowly lift your head up. We're gonna shoulder roll back. Really try to draw your shoulder blades together so you can stretch across your collarbone. One more time. Good, return to a neutral shoulder position. We're gonna turn our arms out. Palms up, biceps up, about a 45 degree angle here. We wanna loosen up our shoulders, so we're gonna rotate the arm, the upper arm, the bicep, from ceiling to floor, and then back. Excellent, take your time doing this. We're just trying to loosen things up. These are dynamic stretches, so we're not holding anything. We move into the range of motion, and out of the range of motion. Terrific, one more time. Let's finish with those biceps up. Bending your elbows, bring your hands up to a goal post position. Nice. So from here, we're gonna give a little bit of a tilt, but stay tall through the torso, and then reach up with that right arm as far as you can. Open up that rib cage, stretch through that side. Excellent. Bring that elbow back down, straighten your posture. Tilt to the other side, reach up nice and long, extend. It's like you're in class. Ooh, ooh, I know the answer, I know the answer. Bring that elbow back down, relax your arms, give yourself a shoulder roll back. Terrific. Let's widen our stance just a little bit, about shoulder width apart, bringing our hands to our hips. We're gonna do some hip circles, nice and smooth. Try to keep your head and shoulders stable and move the middle part of your body. Excellent. We're gonna back this up and go the other way. Terrific. Once more, finish back in the front. Bring your feet together. We're gonna to soften our knees just a little bit. Keep your head and shoulders up and let's Move through those ankles. Think about stirring the pot here. Toes stay on the floor. Let's change the direction. Starting to loosen up those ankles, getting our muscles and our legs working a little bit more, supporting our body weight. Terrific. Let's bring that back up to a tall stance. We're gonna go into a balance exercise here. We're gonna pick up that left foot, standing on our right. Let's give a couple of ankle circles here. Nice and smooth, reverse the direction. Good, we're already starting to use that core for bracing to keep ourselves tall. Bring your foot back to center. Pendulum swing here. Maintain your core bracing to keep your posture. Knee stays lined up with the hip. We're trying to loosen up the hip here. Good, bring the foot back to center. Let's set that foot down. We're gonna loosen up our hip a bit more with a knee circle out. So we just pick that foot up, circle it out, bring that foot right back to where it started from. Good, we're gonna, that's outward circles. We're gonna do inward circles next. So we're gonna turn the foot 90 degrees, point it towards that side wall, but keep your hips forward. Pick the knee up, swing that knee in, set it straight down. Open the hip, swing it out and in. Good. This is taking a lot of core bracing and you feel your inner thigh working as well. We're gonna to switch to the other side. So we're standing on the left leg, right knee is up. A few nice, slow, easy ankle circles in one direction. Stop, bring it back in the other direction. Excellent. Come back to the center. 
Pendulum, swing that foot underneath your knee, keeping the knee lined up with the hip. Really trying to control that lateral stability now with that foot swinging back and forth. Good, bring that foot to center. Let's set that foot down. Little knee circles here, circling out, working that hip a little bit more, out and back in. Let's turn the foot out, hips are forward, pick the knee up, circle it in. Good, you can feel that increased engagement you've got to use through the core to keep yourself upright. Terrific, nicely done. We're gonna widen our stance. We got one more warm-up stretch here. This is a wave squat, so we stand with the feet wide, earth and shoulder width. Toes are pointed out just a little bit. We're gonna bring our hands underneath our chin as if we were holding on to something right under our chin. We're gonna squat down as comfortable as you can, keeping your head and shoulders up. Extend your arms out long. Hinge at the hips, pushing them back. Your head and shoulders come down. From here, we're gonna drive the hips forward like it was a deadlift and we come back up. Curl our hands under our chin. So let's do that again. It's a squat, extend the arms, drive the hips back, drive the hips forward, head and shoulders come up. One more time, squat, long arms, hips back, hips forward, and up. Let's reverse it, long arms, Hinge over at the hips, your head goes down. Drop your hips, your head and shoulders come up. Curl, press your feet into the floor. Long arms, hip hinge, hips drop, curl and up. Excellent, nice work. So we're gonna start with some planks. It's gonna be 15 seconds of plank, five seconds to transition. I'm gonna set a timer. You're gonna hear the beep in the background. We're gonna start in the low plank. So we're just gonna come down right here onto our forearms. Legs are engaged, body straight. When you hear the beep, we're gonna bring that right hand under, behind the uh, left hand under behind the elbow, left hand behind the right elbow. Turn right up into a side plank here and get yourself set. Excellent, we're gonna hold this now for 15 seconds. You want a nice straight line through your torso, down to your feet. If you need to, you can drop that knee and come to a, sh a short plank. Let's come back to a front plank. Hold that position now again, 15 seconds. Remember to continue to breathe. When the buzzer beeps, we're gonna take the right hand and bring it behind the left elbow. And we're gonna roll on to the right side. It's a nice smooth transition. You got a few seconds here. We're set now. 20 seconds. I'm sorry, 15 seconds. 15 seconds here holding this side plank. Arm can be up, arm can be down, bottom knee could be bent. You want to keep that hip off the floor. Let's come back to our front plank. Awesome. Let's hold this now. 15 seconds. We're doing each of these we're doing this set twice. So we got one more left plank and one more right plank. This is core bracing strength. There we go, got that rotation nice and smooth. We're set 15 seconds here. Let's hold this side plank. Remember to breathe. Excellent. Back to our low plank. Holding this for 15 seconds. We have a right side plank, so we're going to take that right hand and put it behind the left elbow. Rotate over to the right side. Right up into our plank. You notice I was not coming to the ground in between positions. It's like we're on a spit and we're just rotating around. This is our last one here. Excellent. And come on down and take a break. Nicely done. Nicely done. That's our first round. For our next set of exercises, we're going to use our chair. So you want to get your sturdy chair nice and solid. That's all you need for initial 
little exercise. We're going to sit on the chair. I want you to sit near the front edge of the chair, not on the back side. Don't lean back. It's not time to take a break, sorry. We're going to stay forward on the chair, sitting up nice and tall. We're going to bring our arms together in front of us like a closed book. And we're going to begin with a leg extension and reverse fly. So left leg extending out from the knees, arms opening up into a reverse fly, postures tall. Bring it back in. Do that side one more time. You'll notice that my knees stay aligned, my thighs stay aligned. Let's switch to the right leg extending out, reverse fly. Bring it back in, right leg out, reverse flying at the same time. Terrific. We're staying tall here. We're sitting up tall on the chair, alternating legs. It's good work to help build strength in our core as well as our back. Really important to maintain a strong back for our posture, our spine stabilization. Good. Let's do one more on each leg. Last one. Excellent. We're going to move on to a standing exercise now to challenge our lateral stability. We'll move our chair off to the side. This is where you want to have that dumbbell or your bag with weights. I'm going to use the weighted bag just because I found it to be a little more challenging. But if you have just a dumbbell, that's fine too. We're going to start with just regular side lift so you're comfortable with the weight. You're engaging the opposite side of your core here to stabilize, to keep your body from tilting over this way. So you have to engage on the opposite side, okay? So we're gonna go into a, a split stance. We're gonna step forward with that left foot. Your feet are still hip width apart. Let's bring that arm up and drop it back down. One more time, lift that arm up, bring it back down. If that worked well for you and it wasn't too challenging, let's bring that back heel up. Keep your weight balanced between both front and back foot. A little less stable now because you don't have as much of that back foot on the floor. Lift the arm up slowly, bring it back down slowly. Excellent. Terrific. One more time. Again, we're engaging the opposite side oblique to keep our posture tall. And through this stance, we're also engaging our lower abdomen and our core. Terrific. Let's switch that to the other side. Again, start with your feet together underneath your hips so you can get accustomed to the weight. Terrific. So let's take that right leg, step it forward. A few repetitions here, lifting out to the side and back down. Again, you want to stay tall and straight. Try not to lean your body away to lift the weight. Excellent. If you can, pick up that back heel. Keep your weight distributed evenly between the front and back foot. And give me two more reps. Give yourself one more rep. Here it is. Last one. Excellent. We're going to give that shoulder a little bit of a break. We're going to come back to the first arm. So we're going to really challenge that um, stability, that lateral stability. We're going to pick up the left leg. The weight's in your right hand, you're standing on your right leg, the opposite leg is lifted up, and we're going to try to lift out to the side. Maintain your posture, nice and tall, core braced. Excellent. If this isn't working for you, you can always just kind of bring that foot down a little bit. The idea here is to try to minimize your base by picking up one foot, challenging your balance, challenging your core strength to maintain your posture and your neutral spine while this weight shifts out and away from you and you bring it back down with control. Excellent, nicely done. I'm gonna set this off to the side and we're gonna go into one uh, final exercise on the floor. It's a boat pose. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see the angle. This is gonna be for 15 seconds. We're gonna do three of these. So we want to sit down, you're going to lean back slightly to about a 45 degree angle, and then pick your feet up off the floor. If you can, you can extend one leg out, that increases the challenge. Both legs out is an even greater challenge. If you need to bring your arms out to the side for a little stability, that's fine. Let's bring those feet down and rest. We're going to do this two more times. So we lean back, 
arms out if you need to, legs extended. We're creating a V shape here. We're up on our sit bones, torso is long. Everything's engaged, nice and strong. Again, we have one more to do. If you need to, you can leave your knees bent. That takes a little bit of the effort out of your legs. We're still bracing through the core, keeping a nice, long, strong posture, neutral neck. Excellent. Nicely done. You gotta be able to do a boat pose here in Annapolis. That's all I gotta say. Um, we're gonna do a few recovery stretches. So we're gonna come down to the floor. We're gonna start out on our back. We're gonna have our left leg out long and our right leg is gonna be drawn up. Knee over hip, hands are behind the knee for a little bit of support. Head is resting on the floor. Let's extend the leg straight up, foot to ceiling. Stretching that hamstring. We're gonna pull that, the toes down on that right leg so that we stretch the calf. Take a nice deep breath. We're holding these, these are static stretches. We're gonna hold these for about 15 to 20 seconds. Excellent. Relax the ankle. Bring that right ankle down in front of the left knee. Draw the left knee up towards your left shoulder, right knee up towards your right shoulder. We're stretching into that hip on the right leg. Your hands can go wherever it's comfortable for you. I like to put one on my shin the bottom by my ankle and the other one behind my knee to help draw it up towards me. You can reach back here if you want, or you could reach through. Whatever works best for you, it's the focus is both knees towards the shoulders. Excellent. Let's bring that foot back down. Uncross your legs. Widen your stance out. Try to get your feet out wider than shoulder width. The wider the better for this next movement. It's a windshield wiper, arms are extended out to the side. We're gonna drop both knees to the left, turning your head to the right. You should feel the stretch on the front side of your right leg, through the front side of your right hip, and through your right torso. And if you extend your arms out and reach for the sides of the room, you'll feel some stretch across your chest as well. Excellent. Take a nice deep breath and relax into it. One more breath. Terrific. Let's come back to center here. Bring your feet in. Extend your right leg out for me. Bring your left knee up. Hands are behind it for a little bit of support. We're extending the left leg up. It's always good to stretch after your workout when your muscles are warm and things are a little more pliable. Pulling those toes down. Stretching cold muscles is not good. Stretching warm muscles is great. Let's relax the ankle there. Bring that left ankle down in front of the right knee. Again, we're gonna draw the right knee up towards the right shoulder, left knee towards left shoulder. We're stretching out the hip complex here with this figure four stretch. Relax into it. You want to feel a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of stretch, but no pain, and you don't want any quivering. If there's quivering happening in your muscles while you're trying to stretch them, you have to release some of the tension. Let's extend that leg back out. Widen your stance. We're going to the right side now with the knees so we can stretch the front of the left hip and the front of the left leg and that left torso, reaching our arms out to the side to stretch across the chest a bit. Bring those knees back in towards center. Draw your knees in, give yourself a hug, and roll up to a seated position. From here, let's come up to our feet so we can stretch through our arms a little bit. We're gonna start with the left arm doing a tricep stretch, so we're just gonna reach back and pat yourself on the back as you've earned this. Take your right hand and you can push back with your elbow so that you can reach further down your back to stretch through that tricep. Want to keep the neck neutral here. 
That's why I like to push from the front. That way I can keep my head up straight and neck neutral. Stretch in the back of that left arm. Excellent. Let's bring that arm forward. Turn your palm out. Place your hand on the front of your palm and pull those fingers back towards your elbow. Shoulders are down. We're stretching the bicep and the forearm. Excellent. One more stretch here for this left side. We're gonna take that left arm and bring it across our collarbone. Use the right hand here to press it up against your shoulder, stretching the back side of that left shoulder. Excellent. So let's switch this over now. We're gonna bring the right arm up and reach back, pat yourself on the back. Use the left arm to push it further back to increase the stretch through the tricep. Excellent. You're doing great, doing great. I know this is a short workout. You can always go through it a second time if you wanna make it a 30 minute workout. Let's take that arm up. Bring it down, palm in front, shoulders are down. Make sure you keep your shoulders down while we're doing this. You are almost done. Excellent, let's take that right arm, bring it across our shoulder, using the left hand. Try to press it up against your collarbone, stretching the back side of the right shoulder. So this was about a 15 minute workout. Again, you could repeat it and do it twice, which would be great for a 30 minute workout. If you're really, really hardcore, you can do those planks in a high plank position rather than a low plank. You can add a little bit of weight into those shoulder lifts. Excellent, nice stretch here across the front of the chest. And we're done. Thank you very much for joining us here at Evolutions Connect. 